Hey everybody, this is Trish Baker coming at you with another video. It's going to be brown butter garlic shrimp over Alfredo noodles. I'm not going to make no garlic bread this time. So there's um, garlic and real butter. It's about a half. I use about a half a stick. So there's a quarter of a stick in there already. Um, I'm going to let that start cooking to like melt it and then I'm going to put some um, salt and pepper and some Italian seasonings in there. I got to start the noodles because this is like a, maybe at the most maybe like a 20 minute 25 minute meal. Um, and of course the salt and pepper is to your liking so and don't put your uh, shrimp in because the shrimp cooks rather quickly and you want your butter to melt and get this like golden brown color you'll understand what I mean by like brown butter like some people don't understand what brown butter is but I I found out what it is through Food Network. And it's kind of like a nutty little flavor. It has like a little bit of a nut flavor. And that's Italian seasonings. Um, and I don't put anything other than that in there because I like the natural flavor of it. So it's just salt, pepper, garlic. And Italian seasonings, and then of course the butter. Let me turn down a little bit more because it's gonna get dark real quick. Okay, if I cook it too high, or it'll actually burn because butter has a. If you've ever melted butter on a stove top, it has like a. low or a high burn like it will burn real on you real quick but see how it kind of is changing a little bit and then of course the garlic being in there it kind of helps with the color changing too so that's why i wait and see some of the bubbles on the top i'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what i'm talking about see how the but the bubbles are turning a little bit brown. Stir it around now at this point. Don't let it sit. Ooh, don't let it sit. Because it will go like real crazy like that. So, um, now what I'm going to do at this point is turn it down a little bit more. And I drain off my shrimp. I buy the deep veined and detailed. I take the tails off. I don't. I don't do all that. I let the and see how the butter gets like. It changes colors too, and the shrimp will change colors too, and that's how you know it's done. But what I do is once the shrimp starts changing colors, then I add a little bit more Italian seasonings in there. Okay. So. And you can add like garlic salt to enhance the flavor a little bit more. But I like to just kind of keep it the way that it is. And a lot of this juice, like if there was like a little, even a small amount of water um, in the shrimp. I try to get all the water out, but sometimes it don't always come out. Let it boil itself out. Okay. Which is what I do. I let it boil itself out. 
and it gets real garlic smelling, which I I enjoy the smell of garlic, so it doesn't bother me one bit for it to smell like that. Some people don't like the smell of garlic. I love it. So, and I have the water boiling in the back because, like I said, this isn't going to take that long. I just turned it down because I don't want it to burn. So, that's why. But I'm going to turn her up just a little bit. So it will start cooking more of that water out. Um, but yeah, this is a one of those quick recipes. But see how the now the butter is getting a little bit more brown. Instead of being like a burn color, it's more brown. Well, it, to me, it doesn't smell like it have enough garlic in it now. So I'm going to add a little bit more fresh garlic to it. But the garlic is how you feel your garlic level is. Because sometimes I'll only add a smidge of it. Like a half a teaspoon and then sometimes I'll add a full teaspoon. It just depends on what I'm feeling like. So, um, let me get this garlic moved around in here. Now, that's starting to smell delicious again. And I'll probably put a little bit more pepper in here. Because the, I get, um, salted butter. And that's another thing. <clears throat> Some people will buy unsalted butter that doesn't make a difference that's just a personal preference um, and I know my butter has salt because I, I buy the kind that has the salt in it so of course I don't have to put extra salt but see how it's now, oh, now my noodles can go on and fur. A lot of people, what I'm getting ready to do, you're not going to like it, but it's not the proper technique of noodles. I break my noodles. I break them. I admit it. I'm a noodle breaker. But that's because I don't like to have to break out the a really huge, huge pan for just a serving of one. Because this is just for me. My husband didn't want none. So. And see, now when it gets to this stage where everything is like this golden, beautiful brown color. Now, I can put... that much more butter in there, which is about uh, a smidge. I don't measure anything. Measure what? I don't know. So, we'll be back in just one second so we can taste it all. Okay, we got her all made. This is what it looks like. I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. You just put the garlic butter Brown buttered shrimp right on top of the Alfredo noodles. Stir her all around and then take a big old bite of her. So it's a really quick meal. So I'm going to have a bite and taste test with you. Mmm. Mmm. It has a little bit of a nutty flavor, so I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, you have nothing nice to say about somebody or something. Don't say anything at all.
Bye.